in repelling the Trix's attack, destroying Valtor's hideout in Bloomwood Forest. But the sorcerer is ready to strike once more. Until it almost didn't. Oh, goodness, what's going on here? Why are you fighting? Don't worry, Laquette. We're not really fighting. Yeah, it's more like an experiment. Since Valtor and I both get our power from the Dragonfire, we figured if we can find a way to beat my power, we can use it to beat his. Your turn, Flora. Okay, but I'm sorry in advance. Ugh. Aisha, I understand. But on Andros, we have a tradition. The parents always choose a partner for their children. I know. But I don't care about tradition. What I care about is love. And when the time is right, I want to be able to make my own choice. Nabu's a wonderful young man, Aisha. And if I marry him, it'll be because I love him. Got it! Huh? I think I found a way to defeat the Dragonfire! Sorry, Mom. Gotta run. Hey, guys! Take a look! This book tells a story of how the Dragonfire first came into being. Apparently, at the time of its creation, there was an opposite force that was also created. This force can only be found in water stars, uh, which are also... Techna? Hang on a second. I thought water stars didn't exist anymore. In this dimension, they don't. That's true. So what happened to them? Well, since each had an extremely powerful opposing force, the Dragonfire and the water stars couldn't exist in the same dimension without causing total destruction. Something had to be done to restore the balance. And so all the ancient wizards came together to collect the water stars and steal them off entirely from our dimension. Do we know where they are? Yes, they're in the Golden Kingdom. Huh? huh? So how do we get there? The portal to the Golden Kingdom is at the base of the Red Tower. But to get to the Red Tower, you'll have to go through the Veil Mist Forest. That could be dangerous. Well, that's weird. What is? 
The Navi transmitter is acting sort of funny. Really? Well, if it's broken, there's probably a spare in the supply bay, Timmy. So what's wrong? What is it saying? Well, it's showing me a huge void exactly where the Veil Mist Forest should be. Which is kind of scary because that would mean we're headed somewhere that doesn't exist. There's nothing there. Nothing? Yeah. According to the Navi transmitter, if we stay on our current course, we're going to end up flying into, well, oblivion. Huh? Someone in here? That's my foot. Huh? All right, now put your hands where I can see them. Aisha, are you forgetting the magic word? Or I'll blast you with all the energy I can muster. <laughs> By magic word, I meant please, but that works. Now, get up. Uh, you know, last time we met, I never did get the chance to thank you for saving me. So thank you. Turn around, walk slowly, go. All right. It's probably just a glitch, Timmy. I don't know. Maybe we should land in the Barrier Mountains and walk from there, just in case something else is going on. What do you think? Look what I found. What's he doing here? Timmy, catch. I, I can explain. OK, we're listening. This better be good. Well, you see, I was on my way to the Veil Mist Forest to practice some invisibility spells, but the whole Valtor trying to destroy the world thing has grounded all flights. So, I hitched a ride. He's lying. No, I'm not lying. I snuck aboard just as you were getting ready to leave. Okay, then how'd you know where we were going? I, I heard you talk about it at Alfia, and I, um... More lies! Hey, we don't know that! Flora, need I remind you that this guy is the reason Valtor got away with the Agador box? <laughs> <laughs> this shall be fun. I can't wait. Aisha! <laughs> Give me the box and the tricks, and I'll let him go. Yeah, I totally agree with Tecna. This guy's got spy written all over him. I wouldn't trust a word he says. Guys, I really hate to break up the party, but we're about to cross the Barrier Mountains, which means we're gonna lose reception. So if you want, you'd better get your calls and messages in now. Have we decided what to do with this guy yet? Yeah, just leave it to me. If you ask me, we should definitely throw some handcuffs on him. That'll keep him from being able to use his magic. That won't be necessary. I agree with Sky. Better safe than sorry. I'm with you guys. Hey, Helio. We're about to lose reception, so I wanted to send this message to you before we got to the other side of the mountain. Okay. Say hi, everybody. Hi, Helia. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hi, Helia. Hi. Well, I'll see you when I get back. Bye. Come on. Uh-oh. What uh-oh? I just installed the new Navi transmitter and... And? It's saying the same thing, that we're heading into an area that doesn't exist on the map. Hold on, we're about to fly off the edge of the world. <gasps> huh? I am not a spy. I'm telling you I'm one of the good guys. Timmy, activate the bars. Just give me a chance to- Hey, you stay in there. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Timmy, deactivate. Sorry, but I don't think Timmy can hear you if you don't press the intercom button. Well, I can't reach the button, so what am I supposed to do now? Well, then I guess you and I are in here together. And since we're stuck like this, we might as well talk and maybe get to know each other a little better. Okay, so tell me, what kind of music do you like? You know that band, The New Waves? I saw them play at the Amphos Arena on Andros. It was such a great show. <laughs> Feelings and love, signs from above. I was at that show. No way. Really? Yeah, and the lyrics are passion and love, signs from above, actually. I happen to really love that song. Me too. 
especially the line that goes, nobody makes decisions for me but me. Great stuff, love it. Yeah, totally, I, hey, hang on a second. Are you trying to use a charm spell on me? No, not at all, I'm just being myself. Well, stop it, and tell me, what were you doing on Andros? <gasps> What's happening? Stay there! Hang on, guys, we're going down! I'm doing everything I can to stabilize it, Timmy, but... Did you believe the slop they were dishing up for breakfast this morning? Shh. Hey, what are you looking at? A message from Flora and the gang. Hi. Hi. That's cool of them. Huh. Wait, go back. Why? Look, right there, see that? Who's that guy, and why is Musa about to kiss him? Hmm, good question. I don't know, maybe she just Riven? Oh boy. It's this way. We're on the right track. Chada, are you sure? We're positive, Stella. We pixies can sense these things. It's a gift we have. Trust us. Yeah, it's a good thing you brought us along because otherwise you'd have no idea. What was that? Sky! Huh? Get him! Come on! Wings and Undo these handcuffs, I can help! Uh-uh, not a chance! Let go of me! me now? I told you, I'm one of the good guys. Get your grubby tentacles off of me! Let go, Octoprene! Hey, Twelve Eyes, we've had enough! All 
right, big boy. Time's up. Ready, girls? Let's tangle him up. So you really could have gotten out of those handcuffs this whole time? But you didn't? Well, you told me not to, Aisha. True. Aisha! What do you think you're doing? You know what? Maybe you should put the handcuffs back on me. Your friends have much more important things to worry about right now than whether or not they can trust me. Aisha? I'm over here, Bloom. It doesn't make sense, Piff. Tuta? I fixed the breaker, reconnected it to the wires, then calibrated the systems, and I still can't get any power. Uh, oh. Papa huh? Tuta. What is it? Papa what do you hear, Piff? All right, who's there? Hey, relax, show off. Ah, oh, Riven. All right, where's that guy? Which guy? Are you talking about Ophir? Oh, he's in the forest with everybody else. Riven, wait! You can't go out there alone. Only the pixies know their way around. Piff, <laughs> come. Mm -hmm. We have to stop. We can't go any farther. <gasps> Why not? Because you're going to have to continue on your own. But how can we possibly get in without your help? It's a test that only you can pass. And the water stars are waiting for you, Bloom. Goodbye, Bloom. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Lockette. We'll be back before you know it, I promise. Thank you for all your help. And when we have finally managed to stop Valtor, all of you will be able to come back to Alfia safe and sound. Until then, all we can do is wish you good luck. Must be it. Another door. Come on, open it. Hey, look, there's something written on this one. Well, what does it say? Sky! Up there, look.
do it. She needs help. I won't tell you again. Put my girlfriend down now. What is waiting for the Winx inside the Red Tower? What is the secret of the Water Stars? And who is this mysterious man, Ophir? Find out with us in the next episode of The Winx Club. Yeah.